Let's talk about these things today. Foot blaster triggers and why they are, out of all trigger systems I've used so far, my absolute favorites. Well, let's not dive into the debate of triggers versus no triggers or some drummer's ridiculous statements that using triggers equals cheating and makes you magically play faster. In my opinion, it is a completely personal preference if and how you use them in your playing. At first, let's talk quickly about what a drum trigger is and what different types of triggers there are or at least which ones I've been using. To put it simple, a drum trigger is a device that recognizes whenever you hit the drum head with a beater by detecting the vibration, then sends the electric signal to your drum module, which converts it into a sound. Pretty basic stuff, but as so often in practice things can get a little more complicated. For me, I started using triggers pretty early on in my drumming career and as most drummers out there, I started with the Roland RT-10K. A very basic trigger that you attach to the kick drum itself and a soft foam cone actually touches the kick head to detect whenever the beater strikes the head. It works, of course, but it is a pain in the ass to use. The trigger itself can't differentiate if you're actually hitting the head or if it's random vibrations, for example from the loud guitar or bass amplifier that make the kick drum head resonate. This results in false triggering and the drum module producing kick sounds even though you're not even playing the kick. That's why I always stuffed my kick drum with lots of pillows and blankets to deaden it as much as possible. But still, I had to readjust all the parameters in my module whenever I played a show with my own kit, for example. And don't even get me started about the annoying process of filling up someone else's kick drum during changeovers whenever all bands would be sharing one kit on stage. Fast forward a couple of years when I switched from the Roland triggers to the Axis E kits. These solve the huge issue of false triggering by not relying on the kick head, but by having a trigger box that is attached to the pedal itself and a small miniature beater that is fixed to the beater shaft. Here you have to adjust the mini beater to hit the trigger box at the exact same time when the main beater hits the head, Therefore, false triggers caused by guitar or bass vibrations were no concern anymore. The flaw of these things is that you can only use them on the axis pedals and they are also incredibly fragile because this tiny miniature beater is attached only by this very thin metal spring and breaks off insanely easy. This happened to me once which made the trigger unusable and I had to buy a replacement mini beater which not only took forever to arrive but also cost more than 40 bucks. That's a hefty price tag on such a fragile part so after breaking it once I got incredibly paranoid whenever handling my pedals. Which finally brings me to my foot blaster triggers that I've been using now since 2021 and found them to be the best kick trigger system for me. They too take the kick drum head completely out of the equation so you'll never have to worry about those false triggerings. They work on any pedal regardless of the manufacturer by attaching them to the bottom of the pedal and having the trigger facing the underside of the pedal board. You then bend the whole metal plate so that the pedal board hits the trigger at the same time the beater hits the head. It's as simple as that. On top of being such an easy plug and play system, these triggers are very sturdy and I wouldn't worry about accidentally breaking them like with the e-kits. The trigger unit itself is protected by a metal plate so it's always metal hitting metal and there are no thin parts that could break off. Switching these triggers from one pedal to another is also super simple and I actually had to do this whenever I got these super cool Tama Iron Cobra pedals to test out. As a little side note, whenever you order your foot blaster triggers you get a big roll of adhesive tape to attach them to different pedals like a thousand times. Unfortunately I couldn't find mine anymore since I packed it away a little too well back in 2021 and I needed a new one when the Iron Cobra pedal came. So I wrote a mail to Foot Blaster and in a matter of minutes got a reply and just a few days later a new roll of tape. That's superb customer service and another big factor why I like Foot Blaster so much. But okay, let's get back to how sturdy they are. As I said, I find them to be very well made and never had any issues with them, but since I'm not playing as a live drummer in any bands anymore, I personally can only give you my opinion as a studio drummer. But by now pretty much all of my drummer friends who use Triggers Live switch to Foot Blaster Triggers and praise them for how reliable, precise and easy to use they are. 
So there you have it. If you're planning on buying a kick trigger system or switching to a new one and are unsure which one to pick, I can highly recommend you to check out the foot blaster triggers and I promise you, you will save yourself a ton of grief in the future. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments as always. But that's gonna be it from me. A big thanks to all these people over here for supporting the channel. If you're interested in hours and hours of exclusive bonus content like outtakes, behind the scenes footage, making offs, lessons and monthly live streams, click here and consider becoming a patron. If you want to see another video here on YouTube, check out this one which YouTube thinks would be the most interesting for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.